How you doing, man? God bless you all. Thank you so much for patronizing our websites, man. We care about you. We love you. We appreciate you paying attention to what we do. And we got some amazing new stuff coming up, man. You ain't going to believe some of the stuff we're, we got in the works here. And I want to talk to you about exactness and vigilance, okay? And it's our motivational period, our motivational stuff to talk to you about. We're going to talk about that. And, you know, I had a question... Uh, uh, discussion with my friend, my friend uh, Donnie Thompson, greatest equipped power lifter probably ever in the world, and uh, certainly the world record total holder. Uh, and um, he talked about how journeyman level lifters and kids that he teaches, they, they're just totally not exact. They don't set up the same, they don't perfect their techniques in the way they lift, they don't do it exactly the same the right way. You know, they're not exact and they're not vigilant. Now, I believe in simplification, and I went through periods of my life. Okay, where I was hyper perfectionist, man, and that's that's something you need. You need those things that you care about deeply, that you do perfect all the time. And you don't need to let that drive you nuts. Because I did that as a kid, man. I let it drive me nuts. I had to be perfect at everything all the time. Nobody does that. There's a lot of things that just don't matter. Okay, I'll give you for instance for that. I'm sitting here in my prison pit, love to work out outside in the dirt and the crazy and the sweat and the blood and the tears and everything. Old school, Rocky would be proud of it. Uh, workout area. And it ain't pretty, it ain't perfect, I don't want it perfect. In fact, I actually want it a little bit imperfect because I want it to make me tougher and harder that way. And I had to learn to not get crazy about things that don't matter. For instance, I won't mow grass. I don't do it, I don't like to do it, and it doesn't pay me. Okay, I'll pay a kid or I'll pay somebody to mow our uh, yards or whatever because it doesn't pay into my life. It doesn't help me and it's not an activity I enjoy. If it's an activity you enjoy, knock it out, do it perfect. But if it's not, delegate it if you can. Man, if it's not something that's essential to paying off to what you're doing, and if it's not something you're going to pursue with exactness, okay, and with vigilance, you need to get it together. You need to delegate it. Do something else with it. And let me tell you something else. Vigilance. Let me talk about what I mean with that. Okay? Uh, once you perfect those things that you do exactly, if it's your lifting, or if it's the way you do your business or your life or whatever, or really what I mean with that is the vigilance of positivity. Okay? Once you perfect that, keeping that positive attitude no matter what, and you toughen yourself to the idea that no matter what negativity, I'm going to come out positive, you got to stay vigilant about it never going away. Be exact and stay on top of being exact all the time. The great lifters, the great strength people, and the great motivational people, the great people who, uh, who do everything in martial arts and life, they perfect the simple things, they perfect the complex things, and they are vigilant always about doing those things perfectly. Okay? You watch me squat, I set up the same way every time, all the time. So grab with the right hand, grab with the same hand, grab step with the same foot. You watch me do another lift, it's always the same, okay? Unless I'm doing something for a particular variation. But the power variation of anything you do, you do it the same. And you're vigilant about always pay, making sure you do it the same. And where this hugely pays off is all this physical training is mental training. Where this hugely pays off is being exact in your positivity, in the building the joy and the wonderfulness of, that your life can have by constantly kicking negative out and being vigilant about it never creeping back in because even some of the most positive people I know, you know what, they go through tough times and sometimes negativity kicks back in. People get uh, a little rowdy, a little bit, a little beat down by something and that negativity just creeps right back in. You know what, but you got to be vigilant all the time, kick it out all the time, all the time, all the time and make that decision. It doesn't have to be as stressful. Thing. In fact, once you get to that level of vigilance, it's a secret to having an amazing life because that negativity never comes in. You never allow it to come in. And once you do that, the doors are open to give and receive, to do amazing things for amazing people, to build the life that you want. you got to do that. Be exact and be vigilant about it. Especially with that negativity. Keep it kicked out. Relentlessly, powerfully vigilant and exact and positive in everything you do. Bless you all. By the way, if you haven't seen Eric Koopman's new book, Listen Up, or in some of the new books that are coming out, especially also my new book, uh, 31 Tips for an Amazing Life, make sure you pick it up. It's going to help you out.